so what we've already studied we started with x values we have x minus x bar x minus x bar square total was 530 and then we calculated standard deviation so the population standard deviation that you calculated was 530 which is summation of x minus x bar square divided by 5 under root correct so how much was your population SD 10.5 29 and sample SD was 11.5 now <clears throat> imagine that you have to solve this with 8 or 9 values on the exam right? of course that's going to be very time consuming so to solve this easily there's a direct function available in your calculator okay so how do you do it do you see this data here this is the function where all the data can be entered and above it, do you see STAT stat? So this is a function which would give you output of most of the statistical values. So how do you use this? First press second and then press seven. It will bring you inside the data function. Once you're inside this, then say second and clear work to delete had you used this in the past. Now it is asking us different data values, x1. So in this case, we have only x values. We don't have y. We'll see later on so 10 enter downward arrow do not enter anything in y we don't have y values downward arrow one more again 15 enter downward arrow one more time 20 enter one more time come on x4 25 enter do not enter any y values only x values come on x5 40 enter so we have inserted all the x values that we have now we want to see what is the standard deviation what is the mean of this data press second and press 8 so it will bring you inside the stat function is it showing lin as of now we don't use that at this stage press downward arrow it is showing you n is equal to 5 which means there are 5 values that we've inserted x bar is 22 the mean of this data set is 22 downward arrow it is giving you sx and what is this sx sample standard deviation so sample standard deviation of your data set is 11.51 and it will give you sigma x which is the population standard deviation which is 10.29 so this is how by inserting values in your data function and then using the stat function you can directly calculate population and sample standard deviations clear